Hello folks, Jason Crispin here, Grazing Acres Farm. I just sorted out our July and August casts from last year. We're getting ready to start the weaning process for them. But I wanted to share how I sorted them out by myself. Where we are now is our sacrifice pasture, which is called the Lower Cistern. Um, you can see it's pretty beat up. Yeah, that's why it's called the sacrifice pasture. Um, what I did this morning is I enrolled a bale right here, not too far from our entrance gate, and right here in front of the entrance into our corral, or our sorting area. Um, you can see I got poly wire across the uh, gateway. Poly wire is not hot, and it's a lot higher than I would normally place, place poly wire. Um, on the one end over here, it's probably close to four feet, and down here on this end, it's probably three and a half feet. So the calves had no problem slipping right under. The poly wire is basically to keep the moms from going into this uh, area. So you can see I got the one going across the gate at the higher level, and then back here at an angle, I've got one run lower. And what that does is act as a deflector. So once they go into this area and go around and go through there to go in, once they get over on this side of the poly wire, it doesn't look like an open space to come back through. So that helps contain them while I'm out here sorting and pushing in new calves. Um, over here on this post, I got a poly wire run out to a reel. And basically what I would do is I would walk down through here on this side, um, leaving the poly wire reel sitting up here on the ground. But I would walk down this side and push any of the calves on my list that needed to be sorted out over this direction. Um, after they, I got a few popped out over here, I'd come grab my reel, walk down through here, and trap them between the poly wire uh, containing my chicken coop and this poly reel here. So then all they had was the option to come forward with me cranking this in behind them and putting pressure on them. So it would have looked something like this. Poly reel going to my hand out to the post and the gateway here. So as we got up close to the gateway, I would bring this end of the poly wire over towards the gate and contain them until they went underneath that poly wire across the gateway. Now I did have to keep moving this up and down because they wanted to go under it. And looky here, we got one trying to come back out. So before she does, I'm gonna get this closed up, but I wanted to share How this could be done by yourself. Now we're gonna step on in here now, take a quick look at these guys. Um, we've got a few heifers in here, a few heifer calves, and a few bull calves. Here's a quick list I made this morning or last night before I came up. Um, just little notes I, I used to go by to uh, pick out each calf. A junior there, he's always a day late and a dollar short. Uh, just always called him Junior. He's the Amish Hereford calf. And I uh, got a couple of my own calves in here, Daisy and Reds, bull calves. So it looks like one, two, three, four heifer calves and the rest are bull calves. But they'll stay sorted out over here for about a week and uh, their moms will be able to see them. Um, I just recently shared a video and I called it two-stage weaning during this process and I was corrected and I was completely wrong. This is basically through the fence weaning. Uh, in about a week, um, their owner will come pick them up and take them back to his place. Until then, they'll be able to see mom through the fence and uh, they'll be fed hay and give them plenty of water. Okay, folks, several hours have passed now. I'm actually back up here now to close the farm for the evening. I just enrolled a bale up there for the herd. You can tell they're all pretty much content, except for the old Hereford, missing Junior. Right here's where I sorted them out this morning, and here is where the feeder was. I've since taken the feeder, 
inside our uh, from our corral or sorting area into our first holding pen. I've got the gate open from the corral over into the holding pen. So the calves are now eating on a bale and the feeder will stay in there until they leave. Um, out here, since I've only got the one feeder here, I will continue to unroll the bale for the herd. Um, I like that because you can see they can all spread out and eat as they please. So real quick like, I would like to uh, walk over here to where the calves are, take a quick look at them, and uh, show you how they look and how they're doing. Okay, so we'll come up through here, and here we go. Doing pretty well. That one there I call flop. I don't know what I did to his ear when I tagged it, but ever since I tagged him, his ears flopped down like that. This taller one here, she lost her tag. But I found it, so I know her number. Um, probably be a good idea to run her through the head cage, which is directly here behind me, and uh, retag her before she leaves. Still have uh, one calf out there in the holding or the corral, as you can see out there laying down. But everybody else is now in here. They look good. Oh, look at this. Hello? McFly? Come on, dude. What are you doing? That's the very first calf I pulled right there. Came from number 24. So all of these calves will be leaving um, and going back to the guy that owns them, owns them farm, except for two. And that's going to be the one over here shoving his face in the, in the bale and a black one with an orange tag which is right there um, this one over here is daisy's bull calf and this one here with the white face eating in the middle is red's bull calf so the plan is all these other calves will leave in about seven to ten days my two calves will not be leaving but they will be uh banded with the California bander and they will remain in this holding pen for 21 days until mama dries up and then I'll release them back with the herd they will not be a threat after that so there you go folks that's what I'm up to here on Grazing Acres Farm this week it's gonna be sad to see all these little guys go But we got a new batch on the way. So if you have any questions or comments about how I did this procedure, please leave them down below. If you like the video, throw me a big thumbs up. That'll help boost it in the YouTube search ranks and make it easier for other grazers and cattlemen to find. If you haven't subscribed, please take time to do so and make sure you click on the little bell so that you get notified when I release a new video. Thanks for watching. Crazy Acres Farm.